Hi, I'm Anita from Global Baby and today I'm showing you the differences between the Mutsi i2 and the Mutsi Icon. So this year the Icon has replaced the i2. So let's just take a look and see what you're getting with the Icon. They weren't with the i2. So firstly, the wheels um, with the Icon, you have a thicker rubber around the wheel and then inside it's the same. So it's um, EVA foam they call it. So it's pretty much like polystyrene. Um, that means that you never have to pump it up because they're not air filled. They're really lightweight and um, so no maintenance, never going to get a puncture. Pretty much all of the strollers that we sell at Global Baby have transitioned to foam filled now. Um, the wheel size, maybe that's a little bit hard for you to tell but the i2 has slightly smaller rear wheels and the front wheels are more or less the same. The wheelbase, so that's like the distance between the back wheel and the front wheel, is pretty much the same with both strollers, which is really great because one of the things that we love about the i2 is that it's so maneuverable, like in town, you know, in shops and cafes, that sort of thing. It's really handy to have the wheels close together because that means you're going to get this really good swivel. Um, they both have the 360 degree front swivel wheels, which will help with that as well. And the wheels are lockable on both strollers as well. Um, basket. The Icon has a larger storage basket underneath. And probably a biggest difference with the Icon is that it has suspension integrated into the frame. So that's kind of similar to the Bugaboo Fox which came out last year. Um, so that's going to be better on more on bumpy terrains, different kind of um, places that you're walking and it also has the suspension in the front wheels as well. The i2 just has the suspension, you can see that spring there, just has the suspension in the front wheel. Okay, when you buy it um, you'll get the carry cot and the seat in the same colour. I really, one thing I love about Motsi, they just kind of think of all the like little details to make things super super nice and luxurious so with the i2 you can open up the carry cot like this to get some airflow in our new zealand summer and with the icon you'll just fold it i already unzipped it um just fold it under there and it'll hold in place so that's good for baby both of them you can put the one down. The handlebar on both, this one's adjustable up and down, telescopic, and with the icon you've got the adjustable handle telescopic, and you've also got um, this way as well. Let's take a look at the seat. Okay, one thing that's really important to us at Global Baby, and I know I say this in all the videos, but I'm going to say it again, is that it is, um, we think it's really important to have the ability to have baby facing you. Um, it's good for conversation and language development, developing um, connection with your baby. And it's also on a practical level, you know, you can see if their hat's fallen over their eyes or if they're upset or whatever. Um, sometimes babies go through that like separation anxiety stage and um, we find that having the baby facing you can kind of alleviate that a little bit. So with the Icon and the i2, you have the ability to have the seat parent facing. Seat wise, the i2 seat is slightly wider, I think three centimetres wider across, across here. The length of the seat is the same. Both of them have the adjustable leg support. <laughs> For baby, um, nice padded straps, five point harness and the bumper bar. Both of them have a, an ergonomic recline. So that means when baby's laying down for their sleep, 
they're flat, which is also, I think, very important. Um, so there we go. So that's an ergonomic recline. On the back of the seat of the Icon, they've kind of covered it with this tech... Uh, Okay, we just had a real busy time in store, but um, I've come back to the video now. So I will show you the unfold and then I'll also show you how you can attach a Maxi Cozy capsule to each stroller. So with the unfold with the I2, it's just an unclip there. And there we go. And with the icon, um, it's, there's a little button on the side here that you need to push. Right. And then you can just pull the whole thing out, walk it forward and pull the seat back out. The Icon has the sandal friendly brake so you can switch it on and off just using like the underneath part of your foot but with the i2 it's a brake that you, when you unbrake it you need to use you know, the top of your foot. So when you're wearing sandals, it's sometimes not that comfy. Adapters in. You can use a Maxi Cozy, Be Safe, Cybex, a few different brands. Yes. See ya. So this is it with the Maxi Cozy capsule attached. Um, I don't really recommend that for like all day or for long trips, but if you're just popping into the supermarket or whatever, super handy, especially if baby's asleep, you don't have to disturb them. Um, just pop that straight from the car to the pram and then back again afterwards. Yeah, actually that handy.
handle is a lot taller, isn't it? So that's going to be a lot more suitable for tall people. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. That is the Mutsi i2 versus the new Mutsi Icon. They are available in store and online, and we're at 161 Manukau Road in Epsom or globalbaby.co.nz. Thanks. Bye.